Hey guys, Marmalade here on another attempt going for number 63, peak number 63 on the San Diego 100 Peaks list. And as you can previously see the drive out here, I'm very much in the desert, Anza Brega uh, Desert uh, Park. And uh, kind of out by Borrego Springs, actually pretty close to that. And if you can see behind me, sorry for the sun, but those big mountains back there, there's a villager peak up there, one of the hardest, longest hikes on the whole list. I have to do eventually. And hopefully I can do it before this, uh, before it gets too hot out here. Once you get to the summer, you can't be out here hiking. It's not safe, but uh, sorry, I'm just, uh, it's a good time to say most of this hike is just gonna be, I don't know if it's bushwhacking, but rock whacking, because uh, we're kind of above, there's some bushes, but besides that, we're gonna get above that. See, almost fell there. So this hike is a beast. Uh, let me say the date. It's uh, March 3rd, 2022. And I started about 8.35, which is later than I wanted, but I'm out here camping, car camping, and wanted to relax this morning. I'm not through hiking or doing anything crazy, so. Uh, but it's gonna get to be 81 degrees, supposedly. I think as I go up higher, it'll be cooler, though. And I'm, they're getting a little breeze right now, so that's good. Sorry, I had to stop the uh, recording for a minute to make sure I'm on the right bearing, so. Anyway, uh, this is a tough one, like I said. It's only, um, it's kind of, I kind of prefer actually because I, I don't mind steep as long as it's shorter. So it's a uh, five and a half miles round trip. So two and three quarters each way, but it's two and three quarters and 20, a little over 2,500 feet of climb. So that's averaging a thousand feet per mile. I mean, that's super steep. So just trying to pick my way through here. So it's going to be a tough day. Uh, but going for number 63, like I said, I have to say, although it's a desert, it's very beautiful out here. Uh, we're supposed to have weather coming tomorrow, so I'm glad I'm doing this today. But uh, the, it just looks amazing, so I'm hoping I can bring that to you as we go up. Sometimes it's hard to show how steep it is when it is steep, but I'll do my best, but that's it. Let's get this thing started, and hopefully this will be a great, safe adventure. Bye. Hey guys, just checking in. It's getting warm, I can tell you that right now. I've gone about 1.2 miles and 895 feet up. So right at, right around that 1,000 uh, feet per mile. The first part, as you saw, was not flat. It was uphill, but uh, it's kind of making up for it since then. But uh, yeah, I've only got about one half miles to go. And uh, I brought plenty of water. Normally I normally bring like a liter, a liter and a half for this far. I, went, I brought two and a half liters, so it looks way up there, but all right, let's get it.
baby yeah peak number 63 down coyote peak coyote mountain yeah Woo.